I had not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. Stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Nestled beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... in my way to... <laughs> my way, too. Add a shinier hat to my collection. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well... I use my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Then I use my cleverness to hide. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. What did you use to fix... Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day, too, if Amira was my only friend. Thank you. 
whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unbreachable switch. This feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. <laughs> 